Preparing for the holiday season early for me is key to being able to enjoy my family and friends and really celebrate the reason for this season. So I like to take time to make plenty of lists of what I need to get done, who I need to buy gifts for, what goodies I'm going to bake, and just get that done in early November. So I do enjoy gift giving. It is one of the ways that I I think is one of my love languages is giving gifts. And then it is time to look for recipes. Now I'm going to keep it very simple and stick with some of my baked goods that I have done in the past. Things like snickerdoodles and a butterscotch flavored Christmas tree cutout cookie, Oreo balls, um, and then probably one or two more that are just a nice variety but that I can make the dough ahead of time and freeze if need be. And then it's time to pull out my recipe binder that I've had since college and use some of the recipes in there. And one of my favorites is a chewy ginger snap that I have. I'm also going to be getting my planning day started with Christmas Spirit Young Living Essential Oils. I love making my house smell like Christmas during this time of year, and so what better way than diffusing this oil? So you can check out my link in the description box as well if you're interested in oils. It is time to don on my apron and get my hair pulled back as I am going to be making a homemade pumpkin pie with a decadent buttery crust for you. And the pumpkin I actually baked from one of my pumpkins that I had as an outdoor decoration and used that. And so it is actually a white pumpkin I had used, so it's a little bit lighter colored, but oh man, the pie sure turned out well anyways. And it is a milk base pumpkin pie. It doesn't have sweetened condensed milk or evaporated milk. Now the crust was a new one for me, but I think it is a go-to. I really like how flaky and buttery it turned out. And so of course I'll link that in the description box for you as well. So I think practicing baking if you want to be serving a dish later on is important as a homemaker as well, especially for a holiday if you're serving quite a few people because you'd hate to try something and have it be a flop. I usually bring a pumpkin pie to either Thanksgiving or Christmas, so why not experiment with this one right now and then my family can enjoy it as well. And this dough was so nice to roll out. It wasn't too sticky, too dry, it was really pliable and it shaped well into my pie plate. filling like I said has milk in it and it also called for coconut sugar and then another sweetener but I decided just to do mainly coconut sugar and it, like I said it's good to practice ahead of time so you know what will happen what will turn out beforehand and get the right consistency especially for a pumpkin pie. There is that decadent pumpkin pie. And then it is time to do a little decorating because that is part of preparing for the holidays. And I did do a decorate with me for Christmas video in my more living area. And here's a little kitchen decorating. I will be doing a full tour later on but I just like adding some simple touches with some of my false graph, some faux greens, some eucalyptus, um, 
just some ironstone, just adding simple, more wintry touches than anything. And I think just having decor around the house that you enjoy really makes it more enjoyable for the season to um, bring people into your home and to prepare for the rest of your holiday preparations. While you watch me continue to decorate my kitchen a little bit more, there are a few other things that we do in preparing for the holidays and budgeting is one of them. As like I said, we do have a pretty big list of gifts that we buy, but we do save money in order to purchase gifts for people and um, that is important to us to be able to give gifts as needed. And then I also like to have a few outfit ideas at least for myself and my girls in that um, I do direct our church Christmas program and I do a couple other holiday events that I need to have some outfits for. And so just having some of my dresses on um, hand that work for the fall winter season are perfect for being prepared in the way of the wardrobe for the holidays. All right, this dough bowl has been one I have used for years now as I found it um, on Facebook Marketplace actually, and I just love changing it out per the season and just using again some faux everything except the pine cones. Um, and I guess some orange slices I dried as well and uh, that's a very simple way to add some natural element to your home decor too is by drying fruit. Orange slices just add that nice cozy pop of color. Evening time has rolled around and it's time to serve my family some of that delicious pumpkin pie with some homemade whipped cream. So it is day two of my holiday preparations and this is one important thing that is buying gifts for children in need and my daughter is two and a half now and so I wanted her to be able to look at some options that we had to buy for the kids and families and what they need in the third world countries. So we go through Compassion International and I think it's important to be able to give in that way as well and to teach your children that that is a way to give during this time of year too. And then decluttering actually is a way I am preparing. So I wanna keep things more simple and um, getting rid of Christmas decor that I don't use. Some other things that have just been in my cupboards that I don't use anymore too, we're going through looking at and just going to be either selling or donating and yeah, just trying to make more space in order to prepare for the holidays because we will be getting more things when the Christmas season rolls around. And then I am preparing by looking at my ugly Christmas sweaters. Ever since my husband and I have been married, we have done a Christmas card wearing ugly Christmas sweaters. So I'm finding a few of ours. I've got my girls' already and we usually take that picture around Thanksgiving and then get it ordered and sent out within a week or two. So that is a fast turnaround, but just knowing what sweaters we're wearing is important. Baking, like I said, is big for me. And so with that, I wanna make sure I have my baked goods stocked in my pantry, which includes sugars and wheat flours, white flours, my baking items like baking soda, powder, cinnamon, cocoa, all those staples that every baker needs in their stock house for the holiday season. Jesus and began to sing, Praise be to God for our Savior the King. Then they told Mary all they had heard before they departed to spread the good word. 
in my preparations too i want to enjoy the process and so i hope you enjoy coming along and you can prepare early as well for the holidays and just remember the reason for the season love you guys